At the turn of the 20th century, the Bitolo Jewish population was nearly 11,000. By 1914, the population reduced to around 6,000 due to years of immigration. In the 1920s and 30s, Zionism became a dominant force among the local Jewish youth. During those years, many immigrated to Palestine. While the war was over, there were only 3,000 Jews in Batola. In 41, when the Germans invaded Yugoslavia, it took the whole entire Jewish community to a camp at a tobacco warehouse in Skopje. From there, all the Jews were taken to Treblinka from 1939 to 1943. Not one of the 3,726 Jews survived. In this photo, there is a soccer team posing in front of a goal after they just played a game. It is unclear which team this is, but in 1927 to 1941, there was a soccer league in Macedonia. This might be a team participating in this league or just a small local team. This is a picture of my soccer team, taken in June of last year. We just played the last game of our season. We are posing in front of a goal. My soccer team is very important to me. Even though it is a lot of hard work, we look forward to playing. Not much has changed in the rules of soccer over the years. The only difference I can think of between these two photos are that the uniforms or protection gear might have changed. This photo is of two boys going to their first day of school. You see about their clothing that they aren't rich, but they are not living in poverty. I was unable to find the names of the two boys in this photo. It is also unclear what happened to them. Here is a picture of my sister and I going to school for the first day. We are in uniform and have our backpacks filled with brand new school supplies. We are really excited to see our friends and tell them about our amazing summer we had. There are probably many differences between the United States during the 2000s and Macedonia during the 1930s. Today, children have many different devices and technology. Back then, they probably only used paper and pencil to take down notes and homework. This is a picture of a Jewish couple being married. It is unclear what their names are. It is also unclear what happened to them after the Holocaust. This picture was taken in 1941, so it is possible that they were taken to Treblinka or immigrated to Palestine. This is a photo of my parents being married in 2005. I was the flower girl at their wedding. This photo was taken right before the actual ceremony. I remember how nervous and excited everyone was. After the ceremony, there was a huge party where we celebrated their marriage. I assume the couple in the old photo was as excited and happy as my friends and family. I assume the Jewish wedding traditions hasn't changed over the years. These couples both probably had a ketubah written for them, and their ceremony was conducted by a rabbi. They both probably had to smash a glass. I realized doing my research how many activities there was available at this time. I always thought that people just farmed or did intense all-day Torah study. Looking throughout all these photos made me realize that these people had many activities such as soccer or skiing like we have today. The only difference is that now everything is more advanced and safer. It is also really sad to see these numbers of how many people perished and how unfair it was to the Jews. Seeing all these pictures of normal people living normal lives and see how innocent and happy they were. It was devastating what happened to the Jews, not only in Yugoslavia, but all over Europe.